means is area. Okay. Let's come back to actually not that one. Okay. Let's come back to something like say oh I don't know. Okay. Five a rainbow. Uh, something <laughs> like. <laughs> It's a rainbow in the parabola. Okay, here's a simple graph. <laughs> and I can say, well, okay, look, let's let's pick an area. Pick an area. Let's say go from um, over here. That's going to be negative two, all the way up until say two. Okay, and I say, well, what's this area? This area under a curve, right? The way I would write this is, I would say. The integral from this boundary to this boundary, negative 2 to 2, of this particular function. That's the function I'm interested in that defines this curve, right? So I'm going to say x plus 2, and I'm multiplying by all those little widths yes. along there. Can, so can we just stop for a second? This is yes. really annoying. Someone's music is playing, and it's really loud. Jesus. I can just hear it. It is loud. It's, if we're with I can't hear it. I can hear it. I can hear yeah, it. Yeah, I can hear it. It's like a little annoying. I'm Leo. I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. I'm just checking it's not me because that would be embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I think can everyone just check their phones? Even if they don't think it's them, just check your phone. No, it's not me. Because it's someone's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is that song? It's Christmas. Is it actually? <laughs> I bet it's Jinsu. I can't tell you. That's not mine. Sorry, that was just really annoying. Wait, just I think it's Tom. Excellent. Let's get some It's Tom. Someone found it? Is it stopped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Tom. Yeah, 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 it's All I mean is an area from here to here under that. That's all it means, <coughs> right? And this area, the shape I've made is a triangle. Triangle. So all I need, right? All I need is base, height, divide by two, right? I've picked very easy numbers. Um, the base is going to be four. The height's going to be four. Two plus two. Yeah, it's four, right? Divided by two. So this integral is an area. It's just eight. That's all it means. That's all it needs, right? That's that's it, right? An integral is an area. Oh, you can't that number. No, no, no. Okay. But like, let's say we didn't know that it was base times height. Okay, now we're gonna get to those. For now, the important idea is it's an area, right? Okay. Let's start with areas that we already know how to work <laughs> out, and then we will progress onto areas we don't know how to work out. Okay. okay? So yes. Um. What does the Okay, where did I, uh, let's just retrace this, because this is a critical, I'm so glad you asked, right? It's a critical question asked. Where did dx first appear? On the board, anyway. On that graph. Yeah. Okay, it first appeared here, right? Because dx just means, like, d means change, delta, delta x, right? It's a little, little change in x, just like this is a little, little change in y, okay? Y is over 1. Now, because we use that to indicate a little change in x, a little width, right? We borrow that language to substitute for this and this, which are very, very little widths, right? So there's my little width there, and there's my height, okay? Height times little width, and I'm adding up this series of things. That's why it's a sum, okay? So you don't have to do anything with this. Oh, we will. Believe me, we will. <laughs> Baby steps. Okay. Now, before I, um, before I set you loose on the exercise, again, let me get across to you the idea that integration is about trying to find an area, right? So anything you know the area of, you know how to integrate, okay? Because you're taking a bunch of things and you're just throwing them together as one whole, okay? So for instance, let's think about this guy, okay? Now, if, well, that's pretty bad, anyway. Okay? If I have a semicircle, that's half of the unit circle. Okay, half of the unit circle, right? What's the equation of this semicircle? I'll give you a hint, it starts with y equals. Square root of? X minus x squared. Where did I get that from? Where did I get that from? The unit circle, the whole thing, which has the top and the bottom, is that guy, right? If I take the x squared over, and then by taking the square root, if I want both of them, I say plus or minus, right? The plus is the top and the minus is the bottom, but I've just got the top. Are you happy with that? 
So how do I, number one, state, and then number two, calculate, evaluate, the area under this curve? Well, firstly, integral. it's this integral from negative, negative one, one to one, one of this function, square root one minus, one minus x squared. Yes. And I'm yes. doing it with respect to x. There's my little width there. Okay? Now, it's just an area. So I know what the area of a semicircle is equal to. Right? It's half the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. R squared. Right? So this integral and this area is pi on 2. Okay? It's not a crazy idea. It's just area. That's what integration is doing. Okay? 